Hello and welcome Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Welcome to your week ahead horoscopes with me Intuitive Renee. We are doing the week of the 21st to the 27th of August 2023 and this week I am working with the Little Buddha Tarot and the Little Buddha Oracle. I haven't used these decks in such a long time and they are just absolutely fabulous. So quite excited to see what they bring. I'm going to move the tarot out of the way and let's draw a card from the oracle to start off with. So from Little Buddha Oracle, we want to know what is the theme for the week ahead? What do we need to know? What do we need to be aware of? What are the kind of energies that all fire signs are going to be working with this week? Fire signs being Aries, Leo and Sagittarius. Oh, that was a that was a bad shuffle. <laughs> that was a bad shuffle. Let's try that again for fire signs. Aries, Leo, and that's better. Sagittarius. Right, let's cut the deck and let's draw a single card off the top. Moving the rest out of the way. I'm not going to turn it over just yet. Oh, I know the glare is terrible, but bear with me. Um, Let's give the tarot a shuffle. So Little Buddha Tarot is so bright, it is so colourful, it is so vibrant, it is just so beautiful. And uh, the artwork is, it's cute, but let me tell you, it packs a punch. Don't let the cuteness of this deck make you think that it's not going to give uh, detailed and accurate readings. So Fire Signs, Aries, Leo and Sag, we're looking at the week ahead, 21st to the 27th of August. 2023. What do you need to know? What do you need to be aware of? What is important for you to acknowledge and to be mindful of for the week ahead? All right, I'll move that one in a second. Card number one that we have is the Ace of Pentacles. Card number two that we have is the Nine of Cups. I'm bringing that one into the middle and we're going to put a card four, three, sorry, is the Knight of Pentacles, and one more if it'll fit, is the Five of Pentacles, okay? So, fire signs, the first thing that I see, even before we look at the Oracle, the first thing that I see is that we have three Pentacles. So this is telling us about a practicality, it's telling us that the week ahead is about our material possessions and the things that we do and the things that we have and the things that hold value to us. And then we've got one cup which is about emotions. Let's have a look and see what the oracle is and then we'll get into the reading. You see, little message from Buddha, think less, feel more. So I love that because all the, the, the fact that we have the three pentacles is about the tangible, it's about the physical, it's about the actual things that we have and the actual things that we work through in life. So the fact that we have the three pentacles and think less, feel more is telling us to get out of our heads, okay? And to become more tangible, to become more physical, to get more actively involved in the lives of, of the people around us and in, in our own lives and not to be so stuck in our heads, okay? So we need to get more practical, we need to get more physical. If we look at the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles is about new opportunities that are going to come your way this week. But these new opportunities, they can lead you to having everything your heart desires and so much more. Because the Nine of Cups is the card of your wish is coming true. The Nine of Cups is the card that says you can have your cake and eat it too. So the new opportunities are definitely going to lead you to a lot of greatness. But in order for that to happen, you need to get more in touch with your feelings. And I'm going to actually expand on the word feelings there and say you need to get more in touch with your desires. Because sometimes we get so bogged down in the reality of life or I can't have that, I must do this and this, that. We, we actually forget to ask ourselves what do we actually want? You know, what is what is it that actually makes us happy? What is it that actually brings us joy? So we need to get out of our heads. We need to think less and we need to feel more. We need to ask ourselves, what do we want? What makes us happy? What do we desire? Because this week there's going to be opportunities that are going to lead you towards your desires, lead you towards the thing that makes you happy. Um, and that's not, not a bad thing at all. <laughs> We have the Knight of Pentacles, okay? And the Knight of Pentacles, he is the most practical of all the Knights. He is the one who, there's no rushing him. He is not the kind of Knight that just charges into a situation without giving it a second thought. He's the kind of Knight who takes his time. He's very methodical. He's very systematic. He's very logical in his approach and in the way that he does things. As I said, there is no rushing him. There is no pushing him. There is no sense of urgency with him at all. He is quite happy. He, he will constantly make his steps. He will constantly make progress. But he's quite happy if it takes him, you know, a longer time to, to get to his goal. 
And we only have, remembering that this reading is just for one week, okay? It's just for the 21st to the 27th of August. But the message that's coming across here is if you're not aware of what it is that you truly desire, if you're not aware of your goals this week, you're not going to be able to make the sure and steady progress that you want and that you need to make. You've got to be honest with yourself around what it is that you truly desire so that you can recognize the opportunities that are going to be presented to you this week. This final card is an interesting one. All right, so fire signs, we've got the five of pentacles. So five of pentacles is often referred to as the poverty card. I am putting it into air quotes, the poverty card. Now, if we look at this particular artwork, I mean, let's, let's just explore this for a second. We have in the background here, there is a building. The fact that the, we have the stained glass kind of effect on the window tells us that it might be like a church, okay? We, we don't know for certain, but there is an assumption here that this is some kind of a, some kind of a place of safety. It's, it's a church, for example. Here we have little Buddha and his little trusty friend, the panda, trying to sell lemonade. So he's made a pitcher of lemonade. He's got some, some cups and he is trying to sell his lemonade for 50 cents a glass. But we can see that it is snowing. We can see that they've got scarves around the head and it is bitterly cold. Who wants ice cold lemonade in the snow? So he hasn't been very practical. He hasn't really thought this through. Okay, so now he's on the outside. Everybody's inside the building where it's warm, where it's cozy, where it's toasty. They're probably drinking a cup of tea. Um, you know, they've got everything fabulous there. And he's outside and he's feeling sorry for himself because nobody wants to buy his lemonade. Um, so, yes, he is experiencing poverty because nobody's buying what he's selling. But he's also not being very practical about it. And that's the message here. So, fire signs, if we look at the message that we have here this week, we need to think less and we need to feel more. He's feeling cold. <laughs> I'm putting it in the practical sense, right? I'm being very Knight of Pentacles here. I'm putting him in the, in the practical sense. So he's feeling cold. He's feeling like, yes, he wants to generate income for himself. Yes, he wants to do something, but he's not being very practical about it. Knight of Pentacles. He's not being very practical about it. Maybe if he was selling tea, he wouldn't have the poverty, but he's being stubborn and he's sticking with the lemonade because in summer, the lemonade worked well for him. Last week, when it wasn't snowing, he did really well in the lemonade. So now he's sticking with the lemonade. But the truth of the matter is he needs to grab the new opportunities because there are an abundance of new opportunities around that can and will take him to his goals. But he needs to be he needs to be more uh, um, emotional around what it is. He needs to be more honest with himself, I think is the word I want to use. He needs to be more honest with himself around what it is that he's feeling, what it is that, and he mustn't think last week it made sense, this, therefore this week it must make sense again. He needs to be practical. He needs to be logical. He needs to take the new opportunities. Snow is a great opportunity. You've already got an established client base. You've already got, you know, everything set up. Just change the lemonade for tea. And honestly, your 50 cents would be amazing. And you would make a lot of money. But what it is telling us this week is we need to be open to new opportunities. We need to know what our goals are. We need to know what our dreams are. We need to know what our aspirations are. We need to get out of our head. We need to feel more because the feelings of truth. And when you know your truth, when you know your desires, when you know what it is that you want, it's easier to get there. And then take slow, logical, practical steps towards those goals. And don't be so stubborn and trying to sell lemonade in the snow. <laughs> No lemonade in the snow, friends. No lemonade in the snow. All right. So the week ahead is actually quite a simple one, fire signs. It, it really, it's not complicated at all. It's a simple one. Just know what it is in your heart that you want, that you deserve, that you desire, and, and work towards it. And you will achieve it this week. As long as you're not stubborn, you're going to be okay. <laughs> all right, fire signs, I'm going to leave it there for you. As always, with love and blessings from my heart to yours. And until we connect again, Take care.